What if one tragic event in 1983 sparked a chain of decisions that forever changed the global landscape of terrorism? Let's uncover the roots of the war on terror. Hello, Book Foxes. Welcome to At The Book Fox Summaries, where we simplify books for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today, we dive into Targeted Beirut by Fred Burton and Samuel Katz focuses on the tragic 1983 Marine Barracks bombing in Beirut and how this event shaped modern counterterrorism strategies. The morning of October 23, 1983, would leave a permanent scar on history, a moment that reshaped how nations approach terrorism. Burton, a former State Department counterterrorism agent, and Katz, a renowned writer on terrorism, bring a detailed narrative about one of the pivotal moments in the early fight against terrorism. This book is a historical and political analysis, shining a light on the often overlooked origin story of the war on terror. Its in-depth examination of the events and policies post-bombing has made it a crucial read for historians and those studying modern terrorism. As promised in the thumbnail, we will explore how the 1983 Beirut bombing became a turning point that initiated decades of global anti-terror efforts. The book centers around the devastating bombing of the U.S. Marine barracks in Beirut on October 23, 1983, which killed 241 American service members. Burton and Katz traced the aftermath of the attack, revealing how this single event laid the foundation for the strategies and policies that led to the modern war on terror. The authors delve into the intelligence failures, the response of U.S. leadership, and how this attack marked a turning point in America's approach to Middle Eastern conflict. The core conflict in the book revolves around the inability of the U.S. to anticipate the rise of non-state terror actors like Hezbollah, and how this failure led to a global, decades-long counterterrorism campaign. The book reveals how this tragic attack shifted U.S. foreign policy toward a more aggressive stance on terrorism. The key figures include U.S. military leaders and political officials grappling with the fallout of the attack, notably President Ronald Reagan and his administration, Hezbollah and terrorists. The authors also provide insight into the early days of Hezbollah and the radical factions involved in the attack. Character Development The focus is on the changing mindset of U.S. leadership as they begin to realize the scale and nature of the terrorist threat leading to the development of modern counterterrorism doctrines. In response to the attacks, Ronald Reagan signed National Security Decision Directive, NSDD, 138, which shifted the U.S. policy on terrorism from reactive to offensive. The book explores the themes of unpreparedness, intelligence failures, and the tragic consequences of underestimating new forms of terrorism. It also highlights the cost of these failures and how they reshaped U.S. foreign policy and military strategy. Relation to real-life situations The 1983 bombing was one of the first instances of large-scale terror attacks against U.S. forces abroad. The book draws clear parallels between this event and later tragedies such as 9-11 showing how these events are interconnected in the global fight against terror. Key Phrases The price of inaction in the face of terror is paid in lives. This phrase encapsulates the key message of the book, how the failure to take decisive action against the growing threat of terrorism led to preventable loss of life. In Beirut, the birth of modern terrorism was written in blood. This phrase underscores how the Beirut bombing became the turning point for terrorism's global rise, marking the start of a new, violent chapter in world history. Targeted. Beirut brings a sobering perspective on the complexities of terrorism and how one event in 1983 could have such lasting effects. It serves as a powerful reminder of how critical it is to recognize and address emerging threats before they escalate. The book's detailed analysis of intelligence failures is both its strength and weakness. In summary, Targeted Beirut is a profound exploration of the events that led to the 1983 Marine Barracks bombing and how this tragic moment shaped modern counterterrorism efforts. It highlights the birth of Hezbollah, the changes in U.S. policy, and the untold origin of the war on terror. Personal Recommendation If you're interested in understanding the roots of today's terrorism and the historical events that triggered it, this book is a must-read. What are your thoughts on the war on terror's origins? Have you read other books on this topic? Let's continue the conversation in the comments. If this book aligns with your interests, grab your copy through the link in the description. Your support helps us bring you more book summaries. 
And here's a bonus tip for those who made it to the end. If you're interested in the early days of terrorism, check out our summary of Angels in the Sky, How a Band of Volunteer Airmen Saved the New State of Israel by Robert Gant. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Books simplified, minds amplified. See you in the next summary.